You have any thoughts on the new Rotax outboard? It looks like they took the 1630 block, turned it into an outboard. I'm doubtful they'll hold up being submerged. I miss Evan Ruth. Well, Anthony, the night the neat thing is that the crap the audience actually totally schooled me on the new Rotax 150. I'm like, I was thankfully educated. The Rotax 150 is almost verbatim the old E-Tech 1.9 liter. And the only thing they did different was that they put it, they just hung it sideways. Now, there's a lot of people who, I, I've seen some of the boat channels and some of the boating, boat engine channels and stuff like that. And kids, people sent me, you know, oh, did you see this? Did you see this? And oh, 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 they disagree with you. I'm like, okay, great. They disagree with me. I understand. I mean, but the big concern, the big gripe that they have is in order to keep noise down and to offer them a very large extended deck platform on the back of the of the new Manitou's, they have uh, they have the the E Tech or the Rotax 150 in a waterproof case. All right, it's this big hard case with this double gasket seal. And it's an interlocking channel gasket. So it's a knife edge, you know, channel gasket. And it's got like 16 bolts that go all the way around it. And it's a total nightmare to take off. All right. So service is not exactly the easiest. But A, it's the E-Tech, which I love. I thought the E-Tech was a phenomenal engine. So I'm happy that it's that. Number two, um, I'm glad that they are making really big gains with states that typically poo-poo two-strokes because of noise and pollution. The E-Tech is one of the cleanest running two-strokes. It's one of the cleanest running engines, four-stroke or two-stroke. So emissions and noise is one are two of the biggest things that are going to make that Rotax 150 be a winner. Um, 150 horse out of 1.9 liter or... Yeah, it's a 1.9 liter. Uh, again, it's a two-stroke. The question is, the problem is that they're they're not out in the market. They're not out in the market. So it's really hard to make kind of a final decision on it because you haven't seen what's failed. I will err on the side of caution and say, I really, 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 really avoid first years of anything. All right? I really, really advise giving it a year. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.